Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Tuesday morning mountain weather update. First stop, some live cameras. This is Crested Butte, Colorado, one of my bullseyes. But the main event storm system has arrived. It is hitting the Wasatch of Utah, and it's hitting all the zones of Colorado. And it's going to continue to snow all day today in both areas. In fact, in Colorado into tomorrow morning. But Crested Butte, Aspen Snowmass, um, the whole West Elk Range is one of my bullseyes for this storm system. Um, again, so that's Crested Butte. They open in six days, 16 hours. They're going to have good conditions. Um, okay, let's go to the other side of the range. This is Aspen Highlands. Already a foot of snow out of this thing. Already. And we're just getting started. Um, I think in a lot of these areas, we could see another foot to maybe 20 inches. So, I mean, we're going to double this amount that we have. Um, at Aspen uh, Highlands right now. So we still have a lot of snow yet to go. All right, let's go to radar out of Colorado. You can see the heavy uh, band of snow setting up, basically paralleling the I-70 corridor, hitting all the mountain zones. It's overrunning up towards Summit County and the Continental Divide, the Front Range High Peaks. It's going to continue to squeeze out heavy snow pretty much all day long with this type of lifting pattern. Okay, back in uh, Utah, still lots of snow yet to go. You can see the pattern. There's, there's snow. Uh, west of town, there's snow north of town, the Wasatch are obviously doing their own thing, creating their own weather. So you've got storm snow and orographic snow for the rest of the day. Here's the setup on water vapor. Moisture aloft is in the whites and the blues, and I want to just drag your or draw your attention to, and I want to choose lime, this. You see that area of blue? That's high moisture content in the middle of the atmosphere on water vapor. That's what I'm talking about. With this type of setup and this type of jet setup and this type of lift, we're really just squeezing out the moisture in the atmosphere. Um, and wait till you see one of the time height forecasts. But that is what I expect for the rest of today. We're going to continue to crank out the snow in Utah and Colorado. And, you know, there's snow on the northern side that's just brushing parts of the Tetons. But those areas, Utah and Colorado, are the prime spots. Here's my snow timeline. Best odds of snow for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Interior, BC, and, um, and Tahoe. Uh, so, for example, the Wasatch, uh, it, heavy snow today. For Colorado, um, heavy snow today into tomorrow morning. So it lasts a little longer in Colorado. Uh, interior, BC, some light snow accumulation on 27, light to moderate accumulation 29 and 30. All right, let me show you the forecast mediagram for Alta, Utah. And this is about, about 9,000 feet. So here's our column for today, the 26th. There's Wednesday, there's Thursday, there's early Friday. So down in the snow column, I'm thinking we've got about 15 inches left to accumulate at Alta and Snowbird for the rest of today. So that's what's on the way. Um, winds initially gusting up to maybe 30, 35. Temperatures today at about 26 degrees max. Tomorrow, it's much colder in the morning. On Wednesday, the 27th, we start at around 13, hit a high of 19, and then the temperatures fall considerably in the Thursday morning. We could be on the verge of single digits up there at 9,000 feet at Alta. Okay, let me just talk about Colorado a little bit. So here's the time height forecast for Irwin. Again, this is, that, this is one of the snowiest spots in all of Colorado, about 10 miles outside of Crested Butte. Um, up around Ruby Peak, Mount Emmons, and look at the wall of green. This is a relative humidity forecast for the next 72 hours um, through all of the slices, the vertical layers of the atmosphere, the timelines at the bottom, you read that from right to left, and we are in deep moisture right now. A wall of moisture with solid lift um, the rest of today, tonight, and even tomorrow morning, and then the drier air cuts in. That yellow-orange cuts in after this. But this is going to be an intense period. And the numbers bounced back up for Irwin. We could see um, another three feet of snow on top of what's already fallen in a lot of Irwin. You know, let's just say we picked up a foot. We could still see another two or three feet on top of that because this is forecast. I mean, it bounced up to almost 50 inches as a grand total. Um, so there's a lot of snow. Uh, that is yet to fall with the storm system at higher elevations, of course. You, if you're above 9,000, that's where the prime time is going to be for this. Um, Crested Butte Ski Area. Um, so we've got at least another foot to go. 
in Crested Butte on top of what we've already got. This is forecasting a grand total of almost 20 inches. Let's just say we've picked up six, so we have a, at least another foot. Um, Loveland Ski Area, this number bounced up as well to about 24 inches as far as a grand total in Loveland. So let's just say we could pick up another 15 to 20 on top of what we've already got. So a lot of the numbers did move up. They did accelerate up in, in, in some of the overnight updates and some of the data. But the guidance here is suggesting that, you know, we've got another 15 to 20 to go. Um, okay, here is uh, the jet stream forecast by close of business today. You got that perfect jet streak. You got that west to east lift and orientation. And it continues to just nail Utah and Colorado all the way through tomorrow morning, in fact. And then things start to shift. There's some wind there with the jet, but look at the ridging that takes over on the during the early days of December. Everything shifts. All the cold air is, is non-existent across the west. It's all sitting out over the east, along the east coast and the midwest and the northeast. Um, and there is going to be a storm system in the northeast, and I'll talk about that coming up. But you can see how the pattern changes. Once, once this storm moves through the Intermountain, it's probably going to be quiet for quite some time. Um, so the forecast radar and satellite. By 5.30 this afternoon, heavy snow through a lot of Utah and Colorado. Some snow on the northern periphery into parts of uh, the Tetons, and still some on the backside through Nevada and parts of the, uh, the Sierra. Okay, here is Wednesday morning. Still snowing over a lot of Colorado, still in it. Uh, and probably some light backside snow for parts of the Wasatch and the Hyuenas. And then it all moves away, and then you can see what happens. Um, things really dry out. We turn tranquil, in fact, uh, with high pressure ridging across a lot of the west into the early days of December. So it's not unusual. Things tend to oscillate in the atmosphere. You go from um, storminess to, to quiet periods like this a lot. Again, all the activity is going to be out to the east. Um, here's my latest uh, snow forecast. So all of today through tomorrow, uh, probably, probably another 8 to 15 to go for the Wasatch. In particular, about another 15 uh, for uh, Alta and Snowbird, uh, which is basically what I showed you on that mediagram. Less snow as you go up to Park City, Deer Valley. I think that Powder Mountain could see maybe 10 to 15 um, additional, so not quite as much, but still 10 to 15. So in Colorado, again, we've already seen snow accumulation, but there's still the potential for heavy additional accumulations of basically one to two feet. Um, all the way from the West Elks to Summit County, kind of divide down into the San Juan. So we've still got 24 hours of, of snow ahead. Um, less snow as you go up into Wyoming. The Tetons could see 3 to 6, and generally 1 to 3 through Montana, Idaho, Pacific Northwest, and B.C. through that period. The second period is much, much different. Everything shifts away. High pressure moves in for the lower 48. Uh, most of the additional snow is going to be up into B.C., especially the higher latitudes of British Columbia. Let's check in on the northeast. My latest numbers for this 28-29 storm system, to me it looks a little bit weaker and a little bit faster, and so the numbers keep coming down. You know, there was a point two days ago when it looked like it could be a one to two footer. That's just not the case now with potentially six to 12 inches of accumulation and the Snow Ridge number is largely from lake effect um, that will not only happen during the storm but after the storm. And, and so, you know, it's not as much snow as, as we were hoping, but at least it is something at this point. Okay, where do we want to end? Here is the, the final, again, the snow forecast for the west all of today through tomorrow. The big stuff is in Utah and it is, it's also in Colorado. And like I showed you here on this forecast mediagram, for Alta and basically Snowbird, you know, down in the snow column for today, we still have about 15 inches of snow yet to accumulate. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. A lot to be excited about with this update. Big snow for Thanksgiving and Black Friday and, and beyond, and then the pattern settles down. Enjoy it and be safe out there and take care.